Hail fellow modelers, welcome back to the channel. I recently took part in a group build called 72 and 72, where you had to complete a 1 to 70 second scale model over the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. So I chose to do an FW 190 from Edward. My first task was to cut the parts off the sprue and then glue the parts onto the main body of the cockpit. I then took blue-gray, um, mixed from a mixture of blue-gray and black, and mixed them right into the airbrush, a 50 to 50 ratio. I still haven't figured out how to mix Vallejo paints properly, and would rather just work with their Model Air line of products, but I didn't have any Model Air black, so I just had to make do. I sprayed this concoction right onto the model without priming it, which I probably would have primed it if it wasn't for it being so small. I was worried about losing some detail. I also sprayed the instrument panel, which we still, uh, which will still be visible even after I applied the decal to it. Speaking of decals, I applied this one to the instrument panel, which I realized later that I was supposed to use the instrument panel, which had the 3D gauges already on the plastic part, but oh well, it's not really that visible in the end anyway. I then applied Microsol to the top of the decal to help it settle in and adhere correctly. It took a lot of microsol to get the seat belts to sit into the seat, <laughs> pun intended. In the end, they turned out okay, a little flat for my liking, even in 70 second scale, but I won't complain too much. I then took two artist oil colors, one lamp black and the other burnt umber. Both just dark colors, which I put a dab on them, which I put a dab of them on the bottom of the kit to soak all of the linseed oil out of them. While they were soaking out, which took around three to four hours, I painted the engine cowling in a metallic color. I believe it was aluminum and then I dry brushed the cockpit with aluminum to give it a bit of shine. Moving on, I sprayed the inside of where the wheels go in a light gray color, which gave it a nice contrast with the main underbelly color. And I don't care one iota if it's not accurate.
Any surfaces that I oversprayed the light gray onto, I just wiped off with a cotton bud dipped in some acetone. And for any wondering what acetone is, as I was when I first heard of its magical paint removing capabilities, <laughs> it's just nail polish remover. I then glued the upper wing to the lower wing and clamped it down with these nifty clamps I got at the Dollar Tree. After the linseed oil had all soaked out, I added enamel thinner to the mix to thin it down to wash consistency and then slathered it on every corner of the cockpit and engine that I could get my paintbrush into. Suffice it to say, it was pretty much everything and after that, it was looking properly weathered and dirtied up. A tip that can help you get your wash just right. Think of when you have a small amount of thinner in a cup and you want to clean your brush full of paint off and and uh, you just sort of dab it and mix it in the thinner and then wipe it off on a towel and your brush is clean and your thinner's dirty. Well, that dirty thinner is about the consistency of your wash. After I weathered the internal parts, I attached them to one half the fuselage and then glued the two fuselages together. I then attached the fuselage to the wings, clamped those down, and added all the extra little pieces onto the model. After I did all this, I attached the canopy and masked it using my custom masks I made from cutting Tamiya tape. After that was done, I called it good for the day and would come back in the morning with a fresh figure to start priming and painting. I started priming with Mission Models Black Primer, which I'm still trying to nail down the mixing ratios. If anyone knows a good ratio, please let me know in the comments. This will also probably be the last time you will see me be using this airbrush, as I will be getting a new H&S Infinity in a few days.
I then used politically, I mean, historically correct paint for the body color, which was uh, light blue. Has anyone else noticed that Vallejo paints can leave a sort of rubbery finish on the model? Is there a way to fix that? Let me know in the comments. I then sprayed a grey-green camouflage following the instruction sheet camo. After spraying that, I gave the nose a black and white stripe job. Again, I don't know much about planes, but wouldn't you think this black and white striping would give away the stealth of the camo? I don't know. Again, let me know in the comments. After detail painting, I put the decals on the model. Then I gave the model a sludge wash. I left it to dry for a while, I probably got lunch or something in the meantime. I came back with a wet paper towel and wiped off the excess, only leaving a little bit of residue on to simulate wear of the aircraft. After the wash, I sprayed an engine exhaust with metallic gray, and then called it finished. Overall, it took me four days to complete, so not enough time to fulfill all the parameters of the build group, but I still had fun doing it. 
Again, I want to thank all of you who have watched my videos and are subscribed, and also who comment, whether it's positive or negative. I'm in an area that doesn't have very many modelers around, so I need that feedback to help grow my skills. And in turn, I can put out higher quality content to my viewers. That does it for this video. Farewell, fellow modelers. Godspeed.